look at, say, labour market outcome differences between men and women, we still see quite sizable gaps in employment and, and wages. So, for example, if we look at the wage gap, um, it's still substantially higher than the OECD average. There is about, still about a 20% gap in, um, in men and women's wages, hourly wages. I think these are issues which um, should be uh, debated within the election because in particular what, one of the places where we see that there are quite substantial gaps are between um, women with young children, so in particular preschool aged children, and thinking a bit more about policies for childcare or maternity, paternity leave, I think are quite important um, issues to, to sort of look into. If you look at things like the take-up of part-time work, um, there we find that many more women take up part-time work than, than men. Um, and, and there are associated pay penalties with, um, with part-time work. Um, there are also differences in terms of occupations that men and women enter into. And again, what we find is that women tend to be overrepresented in occupations that are lower paid than, than men. My election economics takeaway is to look at what family friendly policies are being offered and to think about whether they will offer women the choice to go back to work or to extend the hours that they're working.